Testing, testing, one, two, one, two, testing, testing. Hey, what's going on, guys? Wild Thwites Lawn Service here, back with another video. And today, guys, we're actually going to be talking about uh, mobile home properties, uh, whether or not they're profitable, if they're good properties to take on. Uh, we're going to get all into it right after the super sweet intro. And I'm feeling Alright guys, so back to the today's topic, which is mobile home properties, whether or not they're profitable, and whether or not I do them. And as you guys are going to see in this video, uh, this is going to be footage of one of the properties I actually do. And now there's different types of mobile home properties in my opinion. Um, I have a lot of them that I actually service, and they honestly probably make up about 25% of my business will be strictly mobile home accounts. 25% uh, of the income, I should say, or mobile home accounts. Now, when you think of mobile home accounts, I consider them to be two different categories. One, you have the high-end mobile homes, which pay a little bit more, people can afford a little more, and they're nicer properties. And then number two, you guys have mobile homes that are not as nice. People that live there are people that cannot afford to pay a lot. There are older people that might live on social security or whatnot, and the houses themselves are not nice, and the people could really care less about the property. So you have those two different categories. Uh, for example, my high-end ones, I actually charge $35 to mow generally for the higher-end ones. I only have a couple of those. The majority of my properties in the area that I do for mobile home properties are not high-end. Now for the not high-end guys, uh, those are actually ideal in my opinion, and here's why. All right, so you guys are probably wondering, why would you not, why would you want to take on not high-end mobile home properties? Well, here's why, guys, because I can do these properties. I can bang them out really quick for about $25 a pop. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is going to vary per area. If you live in a more expensive area that has a higher cost of living, your cheap $25 ones might actually be $35. Or if you live in an area with a lower cost of living, it might be even cheaper. But on average, my low-end mobile homes go for roughly about $25 a cut. Now guys, here's why I think they'd be a great profit maker. As you guys are going to see in this video, this is one of my properties that I do in about 10 minutes. I make $25 doing it. And these properties, you're doing lower prices, high volume. You're not charging crazy amounts of money so people can afford it and they appreciate for you for that. But also, you're banging them out and you actually make really good profit. So for example, guys, I could bang out four to five of these mobile homes in an hour. That's 120, 100 to $125 an hour. That's a lot of money for a 19-year-old to be making cutting grass. Now, another thing to think about, though, when taking on these properties is if you want them to be high-profit, high-volume properties, you're not going to be spending tons of time making them look absolutely 100% perfect. And honestly, guys, for a lot of the people that live in these mobile homes who can't afford you know, better lawn service or that don't want better lawn service, this is absolutely ideal. For example, in today's video, you guys are going to see this pine tree on this property that when I weed whack, I, I cut that sucker right around the property, right around the roots because they stick out so far, I can't get my skag there, and I cut that sucker down to the ground. And you guys are going to say, oh, it's brown, it looks bad. Yeah, well, before I started the property, Everything was mowed except for around the house and around that pine tree. And that pine tree had weeds, you know, two to three feet tall around it. So, in my opinion, having stuff like that down to the ground looks so much nicer. And honestly, guys, the customers really appreciate you for it. They appreciate you working with them on the price and doing, you know, these lawns for $20, $25 a piece and making really good money. And honestly, guys, these yards, they look so much better with you doing it and not taking 110% time and effort putting in these properties. They look so much better than when and the homeowners did it themselves and they either can't mow their lawn or they don't want to and so you're the perfect alternative you guys can judge me bash me whatever you want on this tactic but honestly guys that's the way that i have found to make a hundred dollars plus an hour whereas the higher end mobile home properties that i'm actually charging like 35 dollars to do that i'm taking a bit more time on those ones i'm actually only making like 70 75 an hour so it's a pretty big difference even though i'm giving it 110 percent and those clients wish they had a lower price however the reason those quiet clients are still a little bit higher price is because they they do care about the quality too so you know anyways guys just watch this video real quick and you guys will see you know the property still looks nice i'm not just doing a crappy job leaving clippings laying everywhere or anything the property still looks nice you know it's just it's probably like 90 percent of what i'm capable of and i'm not giving it 110 percent it's just banging them out 
reaping the benefits, making the money, and honestly guys, the customers are happier, they're able to afford it. If you have these mobile home properties that are, you know, same condition, people can afford only the same amount, and you're charging more money for it, they might start to get behind on payments, and then those are going to end up being clients that they're going to get so far behind on payments, they're going to end up not paying you. So you guys can say what you want there, but honestly, chances are that's what's going to end up happening. So what I do is weekly mowing. Don't do these $25 lawns bi-weekly. It's too much wear and tear on your equipment and it's honestly not worth your time. So you want to do these properties like weekly or every 10 days at the absolute most and just bang them out constantly. Uh, root density is really key. I have at least 10 mobile home properties in each mobile home park that I go to. And guys, I could do, if I want to, like 25, 30 a day. It's not that long a day and it's really good money. All right, so I'm gonna quit jibber jabbering, guys. You watch this video and judge for yourself and let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think of this business tactic? Would it interest you? Would it not? I'd be curious to hear. I'm absolutely fine if people have their own opinions and they think, you know, oh, why, that's bad that you do that. I think you should give it 110% of every, every property, even if you do make less money. You know, that's perfectly fine. You guys can put that down below. I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on it. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna quit jibber jabbering. Let's get right to the video.
<laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe if you want to see more. And let me know down in the comments below, like I said, what you guys thought of that business tactic. Would you consider doing it? Would you not? Let me know. Alright, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.